Now to new developments tonight on some major stories coming out of the nation's capital. Tensions are rising between the U.S. and Russia as lawmakers debate airstrikes in Syria. We're also learning more about that FBI raid in which documents were seized in the office of President Trump's personal lawyer. And just hours ago, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg in the hot seat testifying before a Senate committee about a colossal data breach. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. Zuckerberg told a joint Senate hearing that his brainchild, Facebook, was used to spread fake news and hate speech. He was also grilled about Facebook's privacy issues following reports that research firm Cambridge Analytica gained access to data from 87 million users. It's not enough to just give people control over their information. We need to make sure that the developers they share it with protect their information too. If you and other social media companies do not get uh, your act in order, none of us are going to have any privacy anymore. And some tough questions for Zuckerberg from Washington Senator Maria Cantwell. Erin Luna joins us now with her line of questioning. Erin? Nadine, we know Cambridge Analytica bought Facebook user data from an app developer. Information like names, profile pictures, and the pages they follow. The Trump campaign hired Cambridge Analytica in 2016, and the firm used the data to develop methods to potentially influence voters. The Democratic senator wanted to know if Facebook employees worked with Cambridge Analytica during that time. Senator, I'm, I don't know that our employees were involved with Cambridge Analytica, although I know that we did help out the Trump campaign overall in sales support in the same way that we do with other campaigns. So they may have been involved in all working together during that time period. Maybe that's something your investigation will find out. Zuckerberg went on to say that Cambridge Analytica told Facebook it had deleted the data. However, Zuckerberg said recent reports show that wasn't true, and the company is working to make sure they get rid of that data. Nadine? All right, thank you, Aaron.